Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today to another video. It's Jay Canada here, and we got a good one because, of course, it's a brand new month. It's a new player of the month. It's all sorts of good stuff going on on 2K, and today, Jay's here to help you. D don't even worry. Now, I get a lot of questions all the time about, like, who are a good card uh, for under this price? What what's a good budget center? What's a good this and that? And obviously, I've got a no money spend series here on my channel, but admittedly, on that series, we don't really use that many budget cards, man. Like, I'm progressed past that. But I know a lot of you probably are picking up the game recently or maybe just getting into my team and you're trying to find out like how you can improve your team how you can actually win some games online and it makes sense because obviously brand new player of the month jerry lucas he looks insane plus there's a rudy gay if you complete all of these boys so obviously there's lots up for grabs which is why people want to have some success and in today's video as you can see from the title we're going to be building a squad together for cheap and i'm not meaning like cheap as in bad i'm meaning there are some cards in this game who are really really good some diamond and amp this cards mostly that sell for like next to nothing like you could fire up this game play the game modes for like two hours and you could have enough MT to build this team we're going to build together today and obviously there's no guarantees when it comes to playing online but I'm confident the team the lineup we build as I'll talk about is one we can win some games with online so how about we just get right into it man no more talking okay now the first weapon for our team right here diamond Nicholas Batum selling for 4k I've even seen this dude cheaper on some days you could probably at the different time of the day get him for even cheaper but 4k for Nick Batum and the second option that spurred me to make this video Batum and Danny Manning for 2k MT bro that is unbelievable Nick Batum is shooting guard eligible and he's six foot nine that is one thing that is barely in this game let alone on a diamond card he's got 26 hall of fame badges including hall of fame clamps pretty much all the defensive badges intimidator as well and he's got gold range extender which is good enough he's got a gnarly jumper with a great green window as well and this other card I love Danny Manning I mean he's a 610 power forward with base 11 which is still dominant this year and 22 hall of fame badges like that's all you need to know that you get him for 2k Danny Manning and Nick Batum are absolutely the base for my lineup now while Danny Manning and Nick Batum are the base of my lineup Dwayne Wade's gonna be the the carrier of my lineup does that make sense it might not but I'll explain in case you didn't know this year there are two amazing bases in 2k for jump shooting there is base 98 every card that has base 98 is just elevated in how good they are and the other base is the Dwayne Wade base which is basically the same it doesn't even matter this card is a six foot four point guard which is cool like that's sweet 21 hall of fame badges that's fine but the fact that he has on hall of fame quick draw the Dwayne Wade base makes this card worth it like you don't even nothing else matters you can absolutely carry a team just using this card I promise you that and there's gold range extender took me a while to find it now to round out our starting lineup we're getting a pair of amethyst cards first up uh for 1.7k unless he's a little bit cheaper anywhere now 1.7k we've got nick young and at center for 1.65 we'll call it 1.7k uh joe chi aka zuki nick young is just a super capable shooting guard small forward he's got a pretty reasonable uh jump shot it's fairly easy to green but for an amethyst he's got 26 hall of fame badges including range extender dead I clamps just to name a few that is huge and Joe Chi I mean under 2k for an amethyst big man 7-1 which is good enough to contend with some of the really cheesy centers and he has 21 hall of fame badges 39 total he can shoot which is the key um I'm actually not that familiar with his release but Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser also gives him extra value. Our starting lineup alone has cost me about 13k MT right now, so let's move on to the bench, shall we? Chauncey Billups is a card I've used since basically the day he dropped, um, and that's because I absolutely love him for just under 3k. Chauncey is another card whose jump shot makes him for me. He's only a 6'3 point guard. Uh, his badges are nuts. 19 Hall of Fame, including range extender, uh, quick draws, cool dimer, clamps. But his jumper, once you get familiar with it with no shot meter, it's just so very green. So that's why I love this card. For our bench, we also find a 2.1K, yeah, 2.1K uh, Doug McBuckets. And how about another uh, another white sharpshooter, Ryan Anderson? 2.5K, we'll call it. I'll be honest, both cards I just picked up, this Doug McDermott and Anderson, I haven't used, I'm not familiar with, but a six foot seven guard, a diamond guard for just over 2K with almost 30 Hall of Fame badges. Like as long as his jumper is just not the worst thing you've ever seen, this is a card that's gonna be able to do stuff for you. Now I'm not familiar with him, so I might not be on point, but once you play some games, yes, Doug McDermott. And copy paste everything I just said about 
Doug over to Ryan Anderson, a six foot 10 power for 25 Hall of Fame badges. As long as we get his jumper down easily, he's also got Hall of Fame rebound chaser. That's a really good big man badge. And we're going to scoop up another pair of Amethyst to round out our bench. Dean Wade. Yes. Another DBG favorite here. Three point. Oh, 3000. Perfect. 3k MT for an Amethyst Dean Wade. And for our backup center coming in at two point. Do I see 2.7? I see 2.75. I will call it 2.75. Marvin Bagley Amethyst Center. Bagley is a super smooth shooting center. 6'11 is a little bit small, uh, but like I said, he can shoot. Hall of Fame quick first step, so he gets off the three-point line with quickness. Hall of Fame Intimidator is very nice, and he's got gold rebound chaser. And of course, the immortal Dean Wade, a 6'9 small forward, which is pretty huge. 40 total badges, which uh, I really like. Hall of Fame range and quick draw. His jumper's a little bit iffy, but once you get used to it, I'm sure we'll have uh, no complaints with Dean. Let's go. And here's our lineup all put together. Starter bench our bench comes out at 13.4 kmt which means in total i built this team for 26k call it 25k if you work the auction house a little bit smarter than i just did and i promise you these cards are all usable like these aren't obviously galaxy opals or pink diamonds but each of these cards is really really good like just way better than their price would indicate now our lineup's a 92 overall. The good thing about using a team like this is for the most part, you should avoid full galaxy opals and just OP lineups. Like I can't promise that obviously, but when 2K's matchmaking is making sense, you're not gonna face a lot of like Magic Johnson, Ben Simmons type teams. You just aren't. Now it might happen occasionally, which means, you know, if you're good at the game, you just have to practice. You can beat good teams with this lineup. I promise you, if you're super nice at the game, but at the very least you can spend like barely any MT and make a team that you should be able to beat other people with who have similar teams like this so i can't guarantee anything i might go into a game now and get like the worst matchup ever and it'll just seem like i don't know what i'm talking about but i would feel comfortable attempting to go 12 and 0 with this lineup because if you get the right mix of matchups and you're on your game you should be able to do some damage now let's hope i don't get exposed and and just be terrible and i i don't know i'm just here talking bro and here goes our opponent. I'm so nervous. Like this video could just be horrible if we get uh, a terrible opponent. Oh my goodness. Okay, but look, it's a five man rotation. So the only way you're gonna get these matchups is against a five man, which means we just gotta be better. His players are gonna be tired. Let's go, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's annoying playing a matchup like this, but he's only got five cards. If we can be on our game, like things could go well with this team. I don't know, no guarantees, but let me try my best here, you know? Oh, first shot of the game. Yeah, that's why you get yourself a Dwayne Wade. Let's go. If he doesn't know how to stop that and we can be on our game with D Wade, this could be a long one for him. Let's go pressure these pick and rolls. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, you, what? Oh my goodness. 2K just let him get a pass literally right through my hands. That is tough. Good stuff, Nick Batum. Yeah, camping on the outlet passes. Gotta do what you gotta do. I can tell like two possessions in, this man is not as good as his team would indicate. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna beat him, but it means that we can definitely be in this game with our beautiful 25K squad. Base 11, Danny Manning in the corner. Let's get it. You know what? We'll let Joe Chi handle this. Dirk in the post. You, you got off ball, especially against a team like this. Like no mercy, man. You are trying to glitch the overall. No mercy. Good D, good D. Okay, he gets a basket. You know what? I have no problem with this. As long as we stay up, we hit our threes, we got this. He knows I wants to shoot threes with uh, Dwayne Wade, so let's just turn the corner and go to the rim. He can't stop my offense as long as I can get stops on him. We will have something in this game. Oh my word. Look at Dwayne Wade bailing me out. That was clearly not the shot I wanted. He still hit it. Come on. Oh, good bump steal, Joe Chi. Yeah, puts people in the uh, right positions and we can get some turnovers here. Come on. Joe Chi to the rim, little hops up. Oh, look at Nick Batum wide open. Perfect. Easy green window on Nick Batum. I promise you, man, these jumpers in my lineup were money. And we've almost got time to bring our bench in here. He's got no bench. I love it. Ah, I sold on that Dwayne release, but this time, dude, this Diamond D Wade is just, even when I'm messing up the releases, he is still bailing me out. You love to see it. Yo, look at the burner on Dwayne Wade. 19 first quarter points. Oh, how much did I pay for Dwayne Wade? 4K or 3K? That's unreal, dude. I'm giving my starters a rest because the advantage we have um, is that we have a bench. My opponent does not. Let's go Chauncey. I just realized they auto subbed in a bronze. I have a bronze out here right now and I don't even care. 
<laughs> I don't even care because I got Chauncey and these dudes who overall cheese don't know what they're doing. Man, you guys come here for the advice and you see, you, you see, I know what I'm talking about. I know who, how to beat these dudes in this game. I know the lineups we can use. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got a bronze out here. I don't even care. I'm not even subbing them out. Look at this. Take a charge. Oh, see, that would have been awesome if the bronze took a charge. Maybe we'll sub him out now. I'm gonna keep abusing the pick and fades until he shows he can stop it. Until he shows he can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, like, okay. My opponent is not good. He is not good. But look at how much MT he sunk into these five players. And he really thinks he can just walk through 12 and 0. Like, no, we're here, bro. Us budget squads are here to mess up all your plans. And we don't feel bad about it. Let's check out this Ryan Anderson jumper. Oh, just kidding. Doug McBuckets. Doug McBuckets. I like it. It's nothing cheesy, but it's greeny. Oh, he's up out here. He's Finish up out him. here. He had enough. Doug McDermott hits a corner jumper on you. Look at us, man. We didn't even get a good opponent. We got a five man. If this dude knew what he was doing, he would have beat me with ease. But then again, if he knew what he was doing, why would he be cheesing to try and beat me? Either way, it didn't work. We got it. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go 12 and 0 in this video. And again, I'll say I can't guarantee who you get matched up against. Like 2K does stupid things with their matchmaking. It just is what it is. But against this lineup, I can almost guarantee you won't face a dude with a full Opal team like starters bench. Yes, you'll get people five manning, which is what he just did. It lowers your overall. But then again, you know, those guys might be trash and they don't have depth in their lineup. So putting together a lineup like this for under 25K, I truly think you could go 12 and 0. You do need some luck, but that's the same case for everybody like you always need luck to go 12 and 0 but this team is really really fire I'm, I'm 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 hyped i might try and go 12 and 0 with this team on this account follow me on twitter and i'll let you know if you uh, if i do at some point here this month but either way i hope you did enjoy this video i'm gonna title this video that i made this team for under 25k yes i'm like 1.5k click baiting there but i hope you all understand it if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new i'm jake canada and i'll see you guys in the next one